Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic that I know a lot of you are curious about. Who should avoid eating steak? Look, I get it. Steak is delicious. It's juicy, it's flavorful. And let's be honest, there's nothing quite like a perfectly cooked ribeye. But as with many things we love, moderation and understanding are key, especially when it comes to our health. We're going to break down four groups of people who might need to limit or avoid steak altogether based on the recommendations of medical professionals. Remember this video is for informational purposes only, and it's crucial to consult with your own doctor or a registered dietitian for personalized dietary advice. Now let's grab our stethoscopes, figuratively of course, and dive into the science behind these recommendations. Alright, first up, let's talk about heart health. Heart disease is a serious condition, and those who have it need to be mindful of their diet. One of the biggest concerns with steak, especially fattier cuts, is its high saturated fat content. Now our bodies do need some fat, but excessive saturated fat can raise your LDL cholesterol, often referred to as the bad cholesterol. Think of LDL cholesterol like plaque building up in your arteries. Over time this buildup narrows the arteries, restricting blood flow. This can lead to a whole host of problems including an increased risk of heart attack or stroke. Now, I'm not saying a single steak will land you in the emergency room, but if you have heart disease, it's crucial to work with your doctor or a registered dietitian to create a heart-healthy meal plan. They might recommend limiting steak consumption, choosing leaner cuts of meat, or exploring alternative protein sources. Remember, a healthy heart is like a well-oiled machine and a balanced diet is key to keeping it running smoothly. Next up, let's address the elephant in the room cholesterol. This word often gets tossed around in conversations about health, but how many of us truly understand what it means and its implications for our well-being? We hear this word thrown around a lot, but what does it actually mean? Cholesterol is a type of lipid, a fatty substance that is crucial for building cell membranes, producing hormones, and aiding in digestion. In simple terms, cholesterol is a fatty substance that's essential for our bodies to function properly. It travels through our bloodstream in two main types of lipoproteins, LDL, which stands for low-density lipoprotein, and HDL, or high-density lipoprotein. However, like with many things, too much cholesterol, especially the LDL kind we talked about earlier, can be detrimental to our health. LDL is often referred to as bad cholesterol because high levels can lead to plaque buildup in arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. Steak, while undeniably tasty, is naturally high in cholesterol. This is particularly true for cuts that are marbled with fat, which can contribute to higher LDL levels in the bloodstream. For individuals already managing high cholesterol levels, consuming steak regularly can exacerbate the issue. It's like trying to put out a fire while continuously adding fuel to it. It's like adding fuel to a fire you're trying to put out. The more you consume, the harder it becomes to manage your cholesterol levels effectively. Now, I understand that giving up steak might seem like a huge sacrifice for some of you die-hard carnivores out there. The thought of parting ways with your favorite juicy steak can be daunting. But here's the good news. It's not necessarily about complete elimination, but rather moderation and making informed choices. You don't have to say goodbye to steak forever, instead, Focus on how often and how much you consume. Opting for leaner cuts of steak, trimming visible fat, and controlling portion sizes can make a significant difference. By making these small adjustments, you can still enjoy your favorite foods without compromising your health. And hey, there's a whole world of delicious heart-healthy protein sources out there to explore. You might be surprised at how satisfying and tasty these alternatives can be. Think fish, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids that are great for heart health, beans, which are packed with fiber and protein, lentils, which are not only nutritious but also versatile in various dishes and tofu, which can be a fantastic meat substitute in many recipes, just to name a few. By diversifying your protein sources, you can enjoy a balanced diet that supports your health goals without feeling deprived. Chapter 3. Gout and Steak – A Painful Pairing Let's move on to a condition that might not be as familiar to everyone gout. Gout is often misunderstood and sometimes even overlooked, but it can have a significant impact on one's quality of life. Gout is a type of inflammatory arthritis that causes sudden severe attacks of pain, swelling, redness, and tenderness in the joints. These attacks can come on quickly and without much warning, often in the middle of the night jolting you awake with intense pain. And trust me, it's not something you want to mess with. The pain can be so severe that even the weight of a bedsheet can feel unbearable. 
One of the main culprits behind gout flare-ups is a substance called purine. Purines are found in many foods we eat and are also produced naturally by our bodies. When purines break down, they produce uric acid. Normally, uric acid dissolves in the blood and passes through the kidneys into the urine. However, when the body produces too much uric acid or the kidneys excrete too little, uric acid can build up. High levels of uric acid in the blood can lead to the formation of painful uric acid crystals in the joints, triggering a gout attack. These needle-like crystals cause inflammation and intense pain. So, where does steak fit into all of this? Steak, along with other red meats and organ meats, happens to be high in purines. This means that consuming these foods can lead to higher levels of uric acid in the blood. For individuals who are prone to gout, consuming steak can increase uric acid levels and potentially trigger those excruciating flare-ups. It's not just steak though, other foods high in purines include certain types of seafood, sugary drinks and alcohol, especially beer. For individuals who are prone to gout, consuming steak can increase uric acid levels and potentially trigger those excruciating flare-ups. It's a painful reminder that what we eat can have a direct impact on our health. If you have gout, it's essential to work with your doctor or a registered dietitian to create a gout-friendly meal plan that minimizes purine intake. They can help you identify which foods to avoid and suggest healthier alternatives. They can guide you on which foods to avoid and suggest healthier alternatives to help you manage your condition effectively. This might include incorporating more low purine foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products into your diet. Staying hydrated is also crucial, as drinking plenty of water can help flush uric acid from the body. Regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can also reduce the risk of gout attacks. By making these lifestyle changes and working closely with healthcare professionals, individuals with gout can significantly reduce the frequency and severity of their flare-ups, leading to a more comfortable and healthier life. Remember, managing gout is not just about avoiding certain foods, it's about adopting a holistic approach to your health. With the right guidance and commitment, you can keep gout at bay and enjoy a better quality of life. Chapter 4, Steak and Kidney Disease, A Protein Overload? Last but not least, let's talk about our kidneys, the unsung heroes of our bodies. These small, bean-shaped organs play a vital role in maintaining our overall health. They are responsible for filtering waste products from our blood, balancing fluids, and regulating electrolytes. Without them, our bodies would struggle to maintain homeostasis. These bean-shaped organs work tirelessly to filter waste products from our blood and maintain fluid balance. Every day they process about 200 quarts of blood to sift out about 2 quarts of waste and extra water. This waste and extra water become urine, which flows to the bladder and is stored until we urinate. However, when the kidneys are damaged or diseased, they're not able to function as efficiently as they should. Conditions like chronic kidney disease CKD, can severely impair their ability to filter blood, leading to a buildup of waste products in the body. This can cause a range of health issues, from fatigue and swelling to more severe complications like heart disease. For individuals with kidney disease, managing protein intake is crucial. Protein is an essential nutrient, but too much of it can be harmful to those with compromised kidney function. The kidneys have to work harder to process the waste products from protein metabolism, which can exacerbate kidney damage. Steak, being a protein powerhouse, can put extra strain on already compromised kidneys. While it's a great source of high-quality protein, it can be problematic for those with kidney issues. The high levels of protein in steak mean more waste products for the kidneys to filter out, which can be overwhelming for damaged kidneys. When we consume protein, our bodies break it down into waste products, including urea, which the kidneys then filter out. This process is a normal part of metabolism, but it becomes problematic when the kidneys are not functioning properly. The buildup of urea and other waste products can lead to a condition known as uremia, which can be life-threatening if not managed properly. Consuming excessive protein, especially for those with kidney disease, can overload the kidneys and potentially accelerate the progression of the disease. This is why it's so important for individuals with kidney issues to monitor their protein intake carefully. Overloading the kidneys with too much protein can lead to further damage and a faster decline in kidney function. Now, I know what you might be thinking, protein is essential for building and repairing tissues. So should we all just ditch it altogether? Absolutely not. Protein is a vital nutrient that our bodies need to function properly. The key here is moderation and working closely with your healthcare team to determine the right amount for your specific needs. Absolutely not. 
The key here is moderation and working closely with your healthcare team. They can help you find the right balance of protein in your diet, ensuring you get enough to support your health without overloading your kidneys. This often involves working with a registered dietitian who can provide personalized dietary advice. Your doctor or a registered dietitian can help determine the appropriate amount of protein for your individual needs based on your kidney function and overall health status. They will take into account factors like your age, weight, activity level, and the severity of your kidney disease to create a tailored plan that meets your nutritional needs without putting undue stress on your kidneys. They can also guide you on choosing kidney-friendly protein sources and provide tips for managing your diet effectively. For example, plant-based proteins like beans and lentils can be easier on the kidneys compared to animal proteins. Additionally, incorporating more fish and poultry instead of red meat can help reduce the strain on your kidneys while still providing the necessary nutrients. Remember, managing kidney disease is a multifaceted approach that includes diet, medication, and regular checkups with your healthcare provider. By being mindful of your protein intake and making informed dietary choices, you can help protect your kidneys and maintain your overall health. So, while steak might be a delicious treat, it's important to enjoy it in moderation and always consider the impact on your kidneys. In conclusion, while protein is an essential part of our diet, those with kidney disease need to be particularly cautious about their intake. By working closely with healthcare professionals and making smart dietary choices, it's possible to manage protein consumption effectively and support kidney health. So let's give our kidneys the care they deserve and make informed choices for a healthier future. Thanks for watching. We covered a lot of ground today, but the main takeaway is this. While steak can be part of a healthy diet for many, certain individuals might need to limit or avoid it altogether. Remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. If you fall into any of the categories we discussed or have any concerns about your diet, please don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor or a registered dietitian. They can provide personalized guidance and help you make the best choices for your individual needs. Until next time, stay healthy and keep those questions coming.